How do you receive your severe weather warnings? Right now, you see me outside talking and the skies are blue. There's some puffy white clouds moving by. Severe weather's probably not even on your mind. But So the question is, how do you receive your severe weather warnings? Uh, do you refer to the television set to, to let you know what's going on? Or do you rely on internet, uh, Facebook and Twitter, and those type of uh, social media outlets to let you know what's going on in your area? Well, right now is a good time just to think about how you receive severe weather uh, alerts. You may uh, listen for the outdoor warning sirens, and they're great if you're outdoors. You may listen for alerts over the television set if you're inside, and if you have the TV set on, then that works very effectively, and you get information from very knowledgeable meteorologists that are local here, and they know about uh, DeSoto County and Shelby and, and all the counties around. But if you're not around a television set, how do you get your severe weather alerts? You may use the uh, weather radio if you're inside, and that used to go off for weather warnings all across the Mid-South, 150 mile radius, but now they're able to identify county by county and only set off alerts in the counties that are effective. But if you're not inside, or if you don't have one of those radios, what do you use? A lot of people use a smartphone now, and there are applications that you can purchase that are very effective, and they go off wherever you are. If you happen to be in the National Weather Service Polygon Warned Area, then your smartphone will go off and alert you. If you're outside of that area, you won't hear it. In fact, if you're in Oklahoma and there's a severe weather warning alerted for where you are, then your smartphone's going to go off and let you know. So they can be very effective means of communication, and more and more people are relying on them. And, and there are, I would advise you to, to look into purchasing one of those apps if you've not already done so. Now, if you're at home and you're in the house and you're a uh, one of those loyal Dish Network or DirecTV Network uh, subscribers and we have a cloud that's 30,000 feet high with heavy rain in it, what's going to happen to your signal? Well, you're going to have that little uh, message uh, going across the bottom of your screen saying that the signal's lost and then you're in the dark. So what do you do? Now, you can go to radio and radio may be providing you severe weather information, probably not. Uh, your smartphone may be going off and giving you a little burst of information, but another medium it, that can be used is social media, Facebook or Twitter. Now, if you're a subscriber to my Facebook page and you're in this area, chances are you're going to be getting wall-to-wall -wall coverage from me at this point in time, and numerous people have told me that they feel very uh, uh, good getting that information from me uh, when they've lost their TV signal. But the point of this video really is this. Now's the time to be thinking about how you're going to receive those severe weather alerts and even more importantly than that is what will you do if severe weather is in your area. Thanks for watching. I'm Sam Reichard. I'll be back with you soon.